All right, you guys, happy Valentine's Day. We're gonna do a drive around the lake because the biggest part of the storm is coming through right now, according to the radar. So if you guys like what I do, please hit like and subscribe and the notification bell. Hook a brother up. Please, please help me out. Hope you guys enjoy the drive. Later. It's cracking, everybody. It's February 14th, Valentine's Day in Big Bear, California. This is a snowfall update video. The snow is starting to come down again pretty good. It's in a bit of a sleet form as well. But yeah, we're going to do our little around the lake tour. You can see all the way at the end over there how just socked in it is. We'll be over there in just a moment. I'm hoping the snow is really coming down heavy over there. That's over by the Big Bear Dam. So let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. I hope it is really coming down over there. At my house, it was coming down pretty good. But once again, winter storm warning, more like winter storm joke. Ha ha ha, so funny. It really is a disappointment, you guys. All season long, basically every, every year that I've lived here, the predictions have, I mean, it's, I'm not exaggerating. It's been about 95% wrong look for the eight years that I've been here 95% wrong it's very rare we get anything that actually pans out how they tell us I've been wanting to do more live feeds for you guys and I was hoping to do one today expecting more snow but it's it's not enough I don't, I don't want to bore you guys too much with the live feed because the picture quality doesn't seem like it's as good as just a regular recording so it's unfortunate Anyway, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Hope you and your significant others are having a beautiful, beautiful day together. And if there's ever any beef, squashing it for the day and trying to reconcile everything and just love each other as much as you can. Life is too short. Life is too tough. We need each other. We really do. I used to believe that I didn't need anybody in my life. That I could just go through the rest of my life without anybody, which I I could, but my life wouldn't be nearly as fulfilling and fulfilled as it has become being married. And nothing's ever gonna be perfect, you guys. Like, relationships are all about, you know, compromise. And, and seeking similarities. And something that's really important is that from the start though, you need to have common, like a, a, a common moral belief system or else that'll be hard to overcome and there'll always be arguments about stuff. So I'm glad my, uh, my wife and I are on the same page about a lot of stuff politically and stuff like that. It's so important you guys. That's, that's the biggest one that I would always stress is just make sure that that's the biggest thing that you look for when you're first meeting someone is make sure that you have your moral foundations pretty much in line with each other. And 
men love, love the heck out of each other. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, you know? It really is a beautiful thing. And you all deserve to be loved. I haven't been loved in a long time. I've spent the last eight and a half to nine years before Rachel by myself. I had no interest in going out and looking for other women, nothing like that. It just, I was over it. But I started to realize that I'm getting to a point in my life where it's, it might be getting too late and I don't want to go through the rest of my life without any love in my life. One of my rationalizations for that to be okay with it, not having any love was that I wouldn't go through any pain anymore. But you know what though? Without taking those risks of potential pain in the future, you're never gonna have happiness. So I didn't wanna go through life with without ever feeling that, that pain again, because I'll never, without putting myself out there, be able to feel the happiness and joy and that love, you know? So yeah, it, it can hurt. People pass away, people break up, things happen. But while you're with that person, just cherish every moment you have. some beautiful blue sky some little patches up here but over there on that side of the lake you guys it's it's looking really socked in i think it's it's going to be really nice once we get to the other side of fawn skin Yeah, we're not even gonna get an inch out of this storm, I don't think. Seriously, I'm still so confused about what the winter storm warning was issued for. As I said, the only thing I can think of, and if anybody has any good information about it, let me know. The only thing I can think of is maybe because we were supposed to have snowfall a lot lower elevation on the mountain from the beginning of the storm, instead of how most of our storms when they come through, the cold fronts come through near the end of the storm, and that's when the lower elevations start to see some snow sometimes. But maybe because it was supposed to start off as snow down at 4,000 feet, like the crest line area. So let me know, why do you guys think they issued a winter storm warning? I'm really interested to know. Because it's super disappointing because the next few winter storm warnings that we get, I'm, I'm just gonna be so bummed out. Just wondering why. Okay, we got people over here sledding. I don't think you're supposed to sled here, guys, so do not sled there. They parked right in front of the like no sledding eagle habitat sign. Don't do that. You, you'll get a lot of people like furious with you only because it's the eagle habitat. Trust me. It happened to me when I used to tell you guys to come sled over here. I didn't realize I had never noticed these signs that say closed eagle habitat area. I never noticed those signs. So yeah, I got really reamed by a bunch of locals about that. So just, uh, please do not sled there. Especially when there's nobody up here right now. Like there's so many other places you can go. That is kind of irritating you guys, but it's the SoCal sense of entitlement. I'm from SoCal so I can say it, you know. Here. The further we go this direction, we'll be coming into these clouds. So we're really looking forward to it.
by the way, the one person still watching, um, I did post something on the community page about chain controls. There are chains re re required right now on the way up. Now we're hitting some much heavier weather. Look at this. I told you, as soon as we hit these clouds over here, boom, and the road's turning white right away here. This is great. This is great. Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. So it's 29 degrees. Please, at ease. You want some of these? All right. Yeah, 29 degrees, guys. It's, oh my gosh, it's so great out here. I love this freaking place so much. I wish I was the only person who lived up here. Just one little house, like the little shack that I live in, to be the only place up here. I would make it a hotel though, so everyone on this channel could come stay with me. It would be the nicest hotel ever. It'll be called Big Bear Weather and who knows? I don't know. Obviously, I would never put Big Bear Weather in the damn hotel name. That'd be stupid. But what I would do is come up with a great name and maybe when that day comes, if this channel grows enough, I'll have you guys give me good, good suggestions and then whoever has the best suggestion that I pick, then I will uh, let you stay there for like a week for free or something. And don't worry, it's not like I'm gonna charge a freaking arm and a leg like all these other places do. We're gonna be in a good financial spot anyway. So we're not gonna have to do that. Of course, just like me, in, 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 you know, in the wintertime, everybody up here does better because there's more opportunity. But in the summertime, you know, I'll still be working really hard, finding new ways to generate income on this channel. Because as I said, in the, in the past month is when I decided to finally actually try on this channel. Those of you who have been with me for years and years, you guys have seen how just straight up authentic this channel was. I hated the thought of asking you guys to like or subscribe. I really did. Um, it, it really bothered me. So, but I had a lot of getting married and worried about finances and wanting to make sure that my wife has the best life possible because that that poor poor woman has been through so much in her life and I just want her on, in her second half of her life here to be able to just relax and exhale and just have a dang good life and I want to bust my butt to make that happen but I promise you guys one thing. I'm never going to change. I promise you. If if the money starts rolling in eventually and things start going well for me financially, obviously that's what when the money starts rolling in means. But um, I'm not going to change. I'm going to be the same old me. My only concern is being able to uh, respond to all the comments once we get like double what we have now for, for, for subscribers. Double and then more. It's going to be tough, you guys, because I have my other full-time gig that I do every day. Seven days a week, haven't missed a day in five years. I literally have not taken one day off. The only times when I've actually, I went out to visit my dad in Florida for two days, but I had someone working for me, and I was taking all the business calls. My whole trip out there, it was only a, a, a two-day trip a couple times. I, I went a few times that year to go see my dad, but yeah, I... I was still on the phone the whole day. Like I, I literally have not had one day off in over five years. And that's coming from someone who grew up in Newport Beach, was very spoiled. My parents lost everything years ago, but I was very, very spoiled and I didn't have much of a work ethic. And being forced into that scenario has been the biggest blessing for me. And now I do nothing but work. This YouTube thing is just a, 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 just a major passion of mine. Not YouTube, but the weather. It's just a, a big passion of mine. YouTube is just a place to share it.
Yeah, look, we got some weather coming down. It's still 29 degrees over here. Tonight we're supposed to get into the single digits. It's gonna be a cold. It's gonna be a cold. side of my car I have so much dirt like caked on I went to the car wash a couple days ago just to like spray it down with water without drying it or anything like that and it looked clean for five minutes and then literally it's it's like really hard dirt that like is stuck there so I'm worried I've screwed up this paint job on my brand new car already but see this is what I do for you guys to follow my passion and give you guys the proper information and doing what I can, I ruin a lot of my things. What is this guy doing? Alright, here's Boulder Bay, you guys. Look at the ice. I don't know if, oh, I think we just missed it. You're not going to be able to see it now, I don't think. There's a, a nice thick chunk of ice down there. I shouldn't say thick chunk because I don't want anyone to get the idea that you can uh, go out there. I'll tell you guys a lot, please do not do that. They, they'll, they'll, they'll give you a fine, but it's, it's like hardly anything. It's like 500 bucks. That doesn't de-incentivize people, I don't think. Making it like a $5,000 fine on your first offense, just to save people's lives, just to make it so no one will take that chance. I think that's the, the fine we should have for littering up here too. Just make it so not worth it, make it so the people who don't care will maybe care a little bit and want to, to go try and find a trash can or something because we got to keep this place as nice as we possibly can. All of you who work really hard deserve to come up to a beautiful getaway, not a place full of garbage. That sign says 32 degrees. That sign's always wrong by a, a couple degrees. It says 30 in here. I'm not saying the car's right. Maybe that sign is right, is right and I've, my cars have always been wrong. going to show you the lake or where we're at on the map but that's not right <laughs> it froze again I think it's when I use the phone that I'm connected through Wi-Fi to my stereo I think that's the that's the reason because usually I'm recording with my other iPhone if you guys can see in the mirror this is the iPhone that I used to talk on it's a really old 
old iPhone. I don't usually do my videos with, with this iPhone. See, when I shut off the video and started it again just now, this just happened. But now it's frozen again. Unreal. Guys, I'm still in a lot of pain. Oakside, good restaurant, give it a shot. <laughs> that was a quick little review. Hey, it's a good place, give it a shot. As I said, there's a new a new place up here called Queen Bee Honey Shop. Give them a shot as well. They have cool ownership and the product is fantastic. They have everything from lotions to, um, to edible honeycomb. It's just awesome. It's incredible what these little bees do. Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Oh, hickety, hickety, hickety up. infamous village as you guys have seen probably out of the 3,000 videos I've done you've probably seen it about 2,000 times <laughs> but that's okay because I know a lot of you like to spend time in this area when you come up to visit and I always used to wonder what it's looking like with all the snow so hopefully you guys do enjoy Well, come back. All right, we got a green light. We're good. Take this down to Moon Ridge. And then right now, you guys, even if you need to turn right soon at any one of these turns, stay in this left lane because it is pothole central on the right over there. I mean, bad, bad, bad potholes keep an eye out like everywhere just everywhere look at the size of that guy right there jeez they're all over these roads but in that right lane in particular from uh the big bear village until you get to to moon ridge it's really really bad i mean look at that they're like little tiny swimming pools you could do an ice plunge in those things. But yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what was going on in town. A little bit of an update. We're going through the heaviest part of the storm right now. We're still getting some snow coming down. It's 30 degrees. Let's uh, make this wide again. Oh, wait, that's right. It's frozen. So that's not where we're at. But it is, this is correct up here. Big Bear Boulevard, 30 degrees, 2.54 p.m. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I love, I love cruising with you guys. Every time I hit the record button, it feels like you guys are right here with me. I, can, I can't explain the feeling. But believe it or not, I'm a quiet person. I do not talk a lot. I know you guys are like, yeah, right, dude. 
his mouth runs off the energizer battery it just keeps going and going and going but i swear i don't talk a lot so with you guys in the car i, I feel like i'm a, a, a tour guide i feel so so comfortable i love you guys a lot thank you guys for everything and if you guys do enjoy what i'm doing please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell helping me out that's that, that's what it would do it would help me out a lot so thank you guys and uh Hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll be doing another video later, I'm sure. It's February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, 2023. Peace out, guys.